Good morning and welcome to my Facebook Live this morning. My name's Jenny McCormack. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in the market town of Brackley in the UK. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. If you're joining me live, do feel free to comment and say hi so I know who's with me. If you're watching on replay, catch up or on YouTube, obviously um, I can't interact with you directly, but if you have any questions or queries, then feel free to um, leave a comment and I'll respond and get back to you, especially if you have any questions. So, <coughs> welcome this morning. Oh, I've gone croaky, I do apologise. So, this morning we're looking at a new stamp set and it's called A Touch of Ink. And what's nice about this stamp set, it's a free stamp set available between now and the end of February. And the way that you can get this stamp set amongst the choice of others is to place an order um, with me over the value of £90. There are some other stamps available for orders of £45 or more, um, but this is quite um, a detailed stamp and it's got some fun images. They're much larger than you can see here. This is about 70% of the size. So, hi Jeanette. The stamp set comes from this um, brochure, Celebration, and this features all of the free products that you can get between what was the 5th of January and the 28th of February. Um, so, you have the option of these lovely um, paper blooms designer paper. We've already featured the fun darling donkeys. There's also a stamp set called Approaching a Perfection, which has some great um, fun little sentiments. So it says, the bad news, I forgot your birthday. The good news is, I forgot your age, <laughs> which is fun. Um, Newsflash, birthdays found to be good for health. Studies show that people who have more birthdays live the longest, and some other ones as well. So that's called Approaching Perfection. We also have the ombre designer papers. Um, where it changes from light to dark in assortment of colours and patterns. So these are all free for an order of £45. Corner bouquet we've also used. And then we have a stamp set called Heal Your Heart. With some nice sentiments and a nice style. <coughs> excuse me, a nice style of um, writing. We then have the Flower and Field designer paper, which is really pretty, bright, colourful papers. And these are lots of examples to go with them to give you some ideas. Um, these have been fussy cut, for example, out of the sheet. And then this one here is what we're featuring today. So a touch of ink. So two step stamp step. So there's 17 stamps in the pack. And as you can see, it features butterflies, hummingbirds, flowers and leaves. There's also one more set you can get with a £90 order and that's called Berry Blessings. And that features some fun um, berry papers, so strawberries and things like that. And then a matching stamp set to go with it. And there's samples of these here. So if you haven't got a celebration catalogue um, and you would like one, then just let me know. It goes alongside the mini catalogue, uh, which runs January to June. So I can see people have joined. Oh, hi, Carol. Oh, hi, Monica. Lovely to have you join us. 
So some of the other benefits of shopping during celebration is you can get this free stamp set called Punch Party that matches some of our new punches. And that's if you, for example, hosted a party, well, it's slightly impractical for us at the minute, but if you placed um, an order over 275, which could be in conjunction with other people, then you can get this stamp set for free. And then finally, the last offer is if you join our team, you can get the normal starter kit, which is £99, but you can also get these um, extra designer papers. So you get 200 sheets of designer paper as well. Um, and obviously all the benefits of joining and um, being part of our team, discounts and the like. So let's work on the touch of ink. So I haven't used this stamp set yet. Um, and I was inspired by this sample in the brochure, the one here with the hummingbird and the flowers coming in from the left hand side. So I'm just going to do a version of that. And so this is the stamp set. As I say, it's somewhat larger than you see there. Let me just pop this on here so you can see the images. So we have quite large images. The hummingbird, the butterfly, the leaves, the flowers. And then we have infills for those. So if you don't want to do colouring in, you can just use the stamp to fill it in. And then we have some nice sentiments as well. Best wishes, thank you so much, thinking of you. And then three small ones, hope, love and hello friend. And then there's some uh, little dots and then the infills, as I say, for the leaf, the butterfly, the flowers, the larger leaves and the hummingbird. So... Let's get to tracking. I haven't really decided what colours. Um, I know hummingbirds can be quite bright colours. So what I'm working on is I'm going to work on a piece of Whisper White. I'm going to choose a backing once I've created my card. And that's going to go onto a Whisper White card base. So that's my plan. I've got two pieces here. So I have plenty of opportunities. Okay, let me put everything else out of the way. So I'm hoping the lighting is okay. It looks all right. Um, certainly from here anyway, it looks okay. Nice and bright this morning. So what I'm going to do is I've already mounted on my blocks the hummingbird and the flowers, the outlines, the little dots and thank you so much. So I'm just going to ink these up and stamp them off just to get rid of that initial um, backing and also it gives me an opportunity to see how these are going to look. have a look at how that works with the flowers. Now they had the flowers sort of coming in. So that's one of the benefits. Morning Brenda, obviously of um, the clear stamps is that you can exactly position your hummingbird um, with his beak into the flower. So I think that's probably I'm going to do it. They had, if I just recreate the image, yeah, so they had it sort of like that, which will, yeah, just about fit. So I'm going to do the hummingbird first again, I think, because I, I don't mind if the um, petals and things are off, but obviously I want the hummingbird in a good in a good position. So I'm going to bring him over here 
just getting a feel for the size really. So they're beautiful little things, hummingbirds, aren't they? There we go. And then let's ink up. the flowers so I could have had it a little bit further over couldn't I but never mind it's fine So I, want to, I don't want this really floating in the air, so I'm going to have it sort of connected to here. Morning, Jill. There we go. Because I didn't really want that floating. So let's have another little bit in here. Like so. There we go. This um, flower is really pretty, isn't it? So I've got um, thank you so much, which is a really nice sentiment. And I think I'm going to pop that. Yeah. There we go. So there's my um, outline hummingbird flowers and my thank you sentiment and what I might do is add those little um, dots around here but just in a lighter colour so to sort of mimic the fact that it's moving so I'm thinking just a crumb cake or something So just these light little dots. Yeah. Yeah. Stop that one off. Just to get that um, look of movement. Know how much of that you can see. Um, in the light. Okay. So now I've got two choices. I can use the infill stamps to colour these in. So, for example, I could use the um, this one here for the flowers, like so. And, but I could also colour them in. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this for the infill, but colour in the um, hummingbird, only because I want multiple colours for the hummingbird. And it's quite difficult on photopolymer stamps to do um, inking with marker pens because it because um, the type of the nature of the photopolymer it doesn't allow the ink to sit fully for multiple colours. So my plan then is to use this for the infill of the flowers, but hand colour with my blends pens, the hummingbird. So let us see how that goes. There we go. 
colours. So that's my infill stamp. And I'm thinking they've used a yellow, so I think I'm going to use a yellow too. Um, I'm going to use Daffodil Delight. And I'm going to practice on this one here so I can see how it's going to sit. And I can use my blends pens to add a little bit extra detail. So if I wanted to sort of fill out the centres, then I could do that with an orange or something. So let's see how this goes. So I'm just practicing on there so I can see. Yep, that works particularly well, doesn't it? So I don't know if anybody else um, has already got this set and had a go. So this is not an exact match. It's one of those where you stamp it and it, it looks like you've sort of watercolored it. So don't get um, too hung up on getting it absolutely aligned. everybody had a nice weekend there we are so I am going to add a little bit of detail with my blends pen oh well done Monica it is really pretty isn't it so I'm just going to try this is um mango light mango melody let's choose a darker one see if that will bring it out i might need to go darker again i think that's pumpkin pie keep carol happy so carol who's joined us her favorite color is orange Yes, yeah, so I'm surprised it's actually taken me this long to ink it up. Um, but I think sometimes you get stamps and you think, oh, I don't know, don't know what I'm going to do with them. But in fact, it's such a pretty image. You don't have to do anything fancy in my mind. Um, If you're doing a lot of these, you could obviously use a stamp artist. It wouldn't be any good for stamping a lot of um, the, the flowers, in my opinion. Um, but to get this one here and that one there, that would be a good use. So I'm just using my blends pen to add a bit of detail. So don't be afraid to mix inks and blends pens. Don't always feel you have to do one or the other. Mix them up a little bit. And it's quite a good way of getting detail without having to colour the whole thing, if that makes sense. So if you can see that, uh, if I bring that a little bit closer, that detail. Just do a little bit of shadow around here. Just to lift it a little bit. Oh, thank you for all the love and hearts. That's appreciated. There we go. So a little bit of detail there. And then let's do the hummingbird himself. Now they show him as, or her, as sort of 
green and a little bit of pink. Um, so let's try. I should have done a bit of um, research, shouldn't I? And looked up um, hummingbird colours. What's this dark? Dark mint macaron here. And then blend that out into a lighter one. And I'm thinking, so I've got light, pretty peacock. So I'm thinking they might have some of that bluey green colour. So, could be completely wrong. <laughs> So I do apologise. I think what I might do <laughs> after my live is go and look up the real colours of a hummingbird. Actually, I think they're quite green as well, aren't they? Anyway. So I'm making my own hummingbird up here. I am going to make it a little bit greener and then I know that they do often have this little pink section under there on the breast don't they, um, what do we see, I've got light melon mambo, I'm just going to use my colour lifter to soften that, soften that pink. So just going over that. If you can see that as it changes, it'll just lighten up. Like so. There we go. And I'm thinking, Granny Apple Green. I'll list the colours that I've used. Um, well, I'll take a photograph of the um, the pens. Although, as I say, it's not um, it's not an authentic hummingbird. It's a swallow closed hummingbird. So I'm using the dark. Granny apple green here, and then I'm going to blend that into the light. So if I'd stamped this, obviously with the infill stamp, it would have been quick, but you wouldn't get this effect. Oh, hi, Carol G. <laughs> That's okay, my dear. <laughs> We're playing with um, a touch of ink for the first time, uh, which I'm rather liking. So I stamped the hummingbird and the um, flowers and then I used the infill stamp for the flowers themselves and then I've just used the blends pen to add a little bit of detail. I hope you can see that. Sorry, it's rather wonky, isn't it, for you? And then I just want the light granny apple green to blend this out. And it's a coincidence, a coincidence really, because those of you that um, 
live near me or know me well. Um, the coffee shop in Brackley, where I run my coffee and card, is called a Hummingbirds, Hummingbirds Bistro. So do you know what? I think this card needs to go to them to say thank you because they managed to keep open where they've been able to during lockdown. So I think that would be nice to say thank you to them with a hummingbird on. There we go. So I used mint macaron for the base of the bird and then I added in some pretty peacock, granny apple green and a little bit of melon mamba which I then used the white colour lifter for so I'm going to photograph that so you can see the colours in fact I might do that just now while I remember while I've got them lined up so bear with me a second and I'll just do that on my camera All right, sorry, it said it had disconnected and now it's reconnected. So if I have lost you, at least you'll have seen the main <laughs> creation this morning. There we go. So this is going to be 10 centimetres by 14.35. I don't know where, but this is still going. If you're still here, please do comment. <laughs> As I can't tell from my screen. still here excellent good because on my phone it's gone back into replay mode <laughs> so there we go that's my card now I'm going to add a little bit of bling to it why not because I know that I've got some of my noble peacock thank you everybody I've got my noble peacock rhinestones, um, which pick up this um, peacock colour. They've also got green and a pink look, so that might be perfect to finish off. So there are some different sizes. Um, let's have one here. I've got three in this size, so let's do three like so. And then I'm going to quit while I'm ahead, <laughs> in case it stops again. And it's half past ten, just gone, so that's perfect timing. So, there we go, there's my finished card, using a touch of ink, this one here. As I say, it's a free stamp set in celebration with a £90 order so um, you can always club together with friends and get it and then share it around um, I might just add a little bit of the flower inside so 
so let's just ink that up so if I do lose you ladies <laughs> thank you so much for joining me this morning I shall be back tomorrow at five so we're back to all our normal um, times so um, 10 in the morning on Mondays and Wednesdays and 5 in the afternoon UK time obviously for the rest of the week Tuesday Thursday and Friday and I'm just going to add that colour in so I'm going to do a variation on this tomorrow tomorrow I'm going to use the um, butterfly and the um, and the leaves I might use the leaves and the flowers there we go so there's my inside and I shall repeat that on my envelope as well so there we are thank you so much I'm off to investigate what colors a hummingbird should actually be <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me this morning ladies um, I appreciate your um, support and I look forward to catching up with you really soon. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And um, I hope you're able to keep safe, look after your loved ones and keep crafting. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye bye.